let's start this so guys this news here is about sugarcrete and the possibilities that we have with construction by using that okay so this is a picture that you can see of this building element it's a fantastic building element we have many great possibilities with this uh we have a lower lower carbon footprint emissions considering concrete for example so i want to discuss People here in this picture, they are making a slab with this sugarcrete, okay? Remember that we have also hempcrete, right? If you were in our live events, then you know that we have also hempcrete. Hempcrete is another fantastic possibility of using. Uh, but we have problems with legislations by using hempcrete in many places. But sugarcrete is a great alternative. Okay, guys, so this is a, an innovation Byte by Greenshaw, UNL, and Tate and Lyle. And as we can see here, we have this ultra low carbon construction alternative to existing carbon materials. So, this is a great possibility for us to use. Here is another picture of this. And by definition, imagine that sugar crete is, is a byproduct, right? Is a sub product of the sugar cane. So we are producing this, we are producing, for example, um, sugar, right? And by using this sugar canes, you, you have this, this byproduct. And in many cases, we are not using this. So the idea is to use this sugar cane, right? This, this byproduct. But there is something interesting about it because if you, for example, compare sugarcrete with bamboo, for example, bamboo is a fantastic material also, but bamboo is usually uh, created in tropical or subtropical places, right, countries. So sugarcane, we have everywhere, all around the globe, we have this production. So that, that's why this is a fantastic possibility for us to use in our projects. So here we can see, this is the definition. Here is a video. We can take a look on this video here to see the production. And then we can discuss a little bit about the production process. Okay, let me see. Hey, Santanelia, California. That's great to see you once again here. So, yeah. So, by definition, just, just to mention before showing the video here for you guys. We have this, we, we have this bagasse, right? We have this, there is this fibrous residual of the sugar cane after destruction of the sugar of course then we have also the natural uh, um, that will bend everything together right that will sorry blend this and we usually usually we can use for example earth soil to to blend this yeah so this is a possibility and, and water also there is another possibility to to create the, uh, this whole blending mixture okay so let's take a look on this video here to understand everything that it's about Waste as a resource is essential in our pursuit of a regenerative circular economy. And sugarcane, the world's largest crop by production volume, results in hundreds of millions of tons of it a year, a fibrous byproduct called bagasse. In 2022, experts from the University of East London, Grimshaw, and Tate and Lyle Sugar came together to investigate the viability of bagasse as an alternative to carbon heavy construction materials like brick and concrete. So the research project is in a nutshell about taking the waste and using it as a core resource, treating it as an opportunity for us to decarbonize the construction industries. Material science, sustainable circular economies and advanced design technology from academia and practice were integral to the research program. And that's why this project was amazing. It brought all of those strands together to produce fantastic outcomes. And a series of workshops using cutting edge robotic fabrication and augmented reality technology led to the development of Sugarcrete. We're never going to be able to tackle the issues facing industry and society in isolation. We're always going to need to collaborate and communicate with others in the industry and with academia as well. This new material, created by binding bagasse with a mineral composite, can be compressed into blocks, has good structural, thermal, acoustic and fire properties. The main innovation with Sugarcrete is to challenge the common understanding of biomaterials having low structural performance and to develop a system that can be self-supported. 
the blocks, truncated pyramid forms, create a geometric solution that requires minimal reinforcement or mortar. This modular kit of parts, adopting a no-waste manufacturing process, can simply slot together to form walls, roofs or floor slabs. Sugar creates create a useful sustainable material. It is also putting the power of construction into the hands of people in the community. Sustainable, versatile, reusable. From its origins as an abundant global bio-waste resource to its potential as an alternative construction material, this research by UEL and Grimshaw has demonstrated the far-reaching impacts that Sugar Creek can have. So this is the overall material, right? As we can see here, the production process, and we can see the, the resistance of that, right? Let me try to show the resistance. Yeah, here we can see the compression, right? The possibility of compression of this. But here we can see the tension, right? They are using some, some steel, right? To create tension, tension on that because maybe it's not that good and they created this slab with the, these forms to create the, this entire structure. Of course, there is not too much dimension on that, right? Just one meter and a half or something, right? But that's a fantastic possibility of using this. Okay, guys, so this is the sugar crate. And when we compare this to, to other types of materials, for example, such as concrete, we have... Le uh, it uses 15 to 20 percent of the carbon footprint to produce concrete. So that's why th that's a fantastic possibility to use this. Also, it has a cure of seven days versus 28 days of concrete, for example. So it's a fantastic possibility. And of course, we are using a byproduct of the agricultural production so we are reusing this so this is another thing that is fantastic otherwise we will be spending this right just wasting this all this production of this bagasse right so we have versatility as well let me just share about this let me see if we have a picture of this maybe we don't have in this website let me try to find another for you here just one second i have two other websites to show so here we have another alternative that is a brick construction so we saw this lab then we have also bricks i'm not seeing here the, the entire brick here let me just type sugar crete on google so we can find this so here we can see the bricks right the construction of bricks by using this sugar crete product okay so that's really interesting and one one thing that called my attention to talk about this is because Sugarcrete is getting this this uh, funding by the European Commission. So of course uh, we saw that they are disputing this. Uh, they, they disputed this Erdshof Prize last year. I don't know if they won, but yeah, interesting. And the European Commission is funding the project, so we can see that we are going to have a, a good future about this. So this is very interesting. Okay, then uh, I want to talk more about this idea. So as we were talking, we have other benefits by using sugar creek. That is the impact of local economy. So of course, we can reuse this by product and not also we can maybe create other types of jobs by transporting this by product to manufacturing, um, yeah, manufacturing, uh, uh, yeah, factories to, to make this possible, right? So let me see. Liquid fabric, yeah. Nice 3D latching. It's a very light material, yeah. Yeah, it's very light. Yeah, it's, it's, more, it's lighter than regular concrete. And there is lots of great things about, not, not just about the, the light lightweight product, right? It's easy to, to transport because it's lightweight. It, it has this versatility, create bricks, we can create slabs, we can create decorations with this as well. And it's biodegradable, right? Since it's not, it's not going to be into, uh, let's say, landfills, right? So it's a, another possibility. And yeah, 
very, very uh, less impact on CO2 also. Okay, so I see lots of um, potentials in the future. Oh, it's fireproof as well. It's that's that's important to say. Okay, it's fireproof. So that's interesting as well. So when we can compare this with bamboo, as I said in the, at the beginning of this live event, we have this possibility to have the this worldwide production. Bamboo is just in tropical, subtropical regions. So that's something good. And when we compare with hempcrete, it has similar properties, but hempcrete, we have lots of regulations depending on the country. So I'm from South America. We have lots of regulations talking about uh, hemp, right? We have, we can't just use hemp here. So maybe sugarcrete. Here in my country, we produce lots of uh, of, of uh, sugar canes, so it's a great possibility. We we create a lot of al alcohol, right? Uh, ethanol for cars, so it's a fantastic possibility. Okay, can it be made into I beams to avoid the need of using metal rods? I I think no. I think the traction is not that good as I saw as in my research. So I I don't think so. I hope, uh, I wonder how this holds up through water and over the years and years of use, Kat Simmons is asking here. I think, um, I, I think it, it's not the idea is to add a water, right? Water just in the mixture, but over time we need to have a panel, right? We need to have a structural element. It's just is more for the, the middle, right? For the insulation properties and all of that. I don't think it's, uh, we see this brick composition here. Maybe it can hold uh, some water, but I'm not sure about it. Okay. Uh, they are not using chemical treatments. It's like uh, naturally fire resistant. Yeah, it's naturally fire resistant. Okay, guys. So this is sugar creek. What do you think about it? That's a great material for us to use in our projects. Maybe we can see that in the future. Can you see some, some feature about it? Tell me here in the chat. Seismic properties, that's a good question. Seedubums. Yeah, this is a good question. Here are some other pictures for you to see. So here we can see the, the, the experiment with the bricks, the, with this, the, this lab, right? Another picture of that. So that's very interesting. Okay, guys, so this is Sugarcrete. I hope you have enjoyed this content.